extra thing that you're using a blog does is it allows your customers to talk back. Now, if you're doing a good and defensible job, that'll be a good thing, fine. If you're on the whole doing a good job and you make a few mess ups, um, like the result with the uh, English cut to Taylor, um, you can use the comments to show people that you, that you care and that you sort things out and that you do get there. Um, there's a link there about um, that you can use to have a look at how people can calculate the return on investment um, in using blogs. So it's from Forrester, which is quite a respected um, e-commerce research company. So if you want to look at the links there, um, you can do. So an example, um, Stormbook. It's a small South African winery. And what they did was that they very, fairly small sales um, of wine in Europe. And what they decided to do was to target 100 people who regularly buy blogs. Well, the blogs didn't have to be about wine food, they could be about anything. Um, but they just wanted people who kept their blog up to date. They weren't even going to blogs that had a big readership. Um, so they sent 100 bottles of wine, which to a winery you know, is a terribly expensive thing to do, um, to these people who write blogs. What do you think happened next? The bloggers wrote on the blog a couple of wine this morning um, through the post. <laughs> don't know how that happened from a company called Starbuck. Never heard of them. Um, it started the name going around. Some um, some readers of the blogs said, "Well, you know, what's the wine like?" Um, and using the premise that something that you haven't paid for always tastes better than something that you have paid for. It was, it was really, really nice work, because of, you know, with it being a surprise and with it being free, um, yeah, it, was, it was really, really good. Um, within a year, sales in Europe had doubled. And they weren't doing any other type of marketing other than what they were doing with the bloggers and some point of sales stuff um, in stores. So when they decided that they wanted to try and um, market the one in the USA, they decided to sponsor um, get-togethers of tech and people, um, geeky dinners as they call them, it's a horrible phrase, but that's what they did, and they just provided wine for these. Um, and by 2007, they multiplied by five the amount of wine that they were selling um, outside South Africa. So if you wanted to look at that, there's a link uh, there. So, back to user generated content, mobile phone companies, um, when, when they started launching 3G services and so on, I thought, well, we have, to, we have to make lots of content to keep people um, interested in the, uh, the new phones, the new facilities that we can offer. Um, how are we going to do this? Um, yeah, we, they thought that they really needed to provide everything. What they discovered was actually what people wanted to do with the phones was take videos of things and send them to their friends. So, basically, human beings like to be creative, like to share their own experiences much more than just experiences that have sort of, um, been written for them by um, Hollywood or, or, or wherever. With all these good extra ways of um, getting in touch with people, with all these good extra ways of communication, some of the things you might also want to think about is blogs, which are largely text, um, video logs, which are obviously video versions, and podcasts, which are audio versions, all um, exist for, for people to get their points across, for people to communicate, for people to say what they think about things. Um, and YouTube is, is a good example of this. Um, if you're doing a good job and you, you do your thing well, um, then YouTube will probably have good things to say about it. When you mess up, um, just be aware that the bad publicity can spread too. But, as with blogs, as with anything else, you do have the ability to comment. Um, so, a couple of years ago, um, Dell had to recall a load of laptops because of um, battery fires. We're going to move on to a very important consumer alert that could save...
odds. It's the biggest computer-related recall ever. Dell recalling more than 4 million notebook batteries that can overheat and explode. Another potential danger in the sky since so many people use their laptop while flying. And it may affect more than just laptops. Consumer correspondent Elizabeth Leamy is in Washington with the details on that. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning, Robin. It is the third time in five years that Dell has had to recall laptop batteries. But this is the biggest recall by far. It affects 32 different laptop models, including this one. At 1 a.m. this morning, Dell activated this special website so you can check and see if your battery is on the list. These fiery photos caught everyone's eye on the Internet this summer. A Dell laptop computer blazing away at a conference in Japan. This is certainly a very serious concern, uh, potential for a laptop computer overheating. Dell's record recall prompted by six incidents of Sony-made laptop batteries overheating. No So, if you're the PR people for Dell, you're not going to really rather see this sort of thing. You don't company, if you do anything, um, well, just be aware of this type of um, negative publicity. Um, but, as I said, there is space for you to comment and say, yeah, okay, that shouldn't have happened, this is what we did about it, this is how we're compensating customers, this is what you need to do if you're, you're an affected customer. And you can come back and sort of rescue, um, rescue this. So for every bad publicity um, possibility, there is your your ability to defend yourself. So communication has got a lot better. So, uh, 20 years ago, this would have been on television screens. There's not much Dell could have done about it. They couldn't have interrupted the broadcast and said, well, this is what, this is what we did to, um, to resolve this. Um, that there does say that Dell did the responsible thing. They listed all the products that would be affected and told people how to, um, how to activate the recall.